I'm Lane and this is Chaden and these are our two boys, Wells and Bowen and we're from Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. Wells is typically a very happy little boy. <laughs> An awesome little guy and he's happy and he's fun to be around. He loves to go and enjoy nature. He likes to go for walks. He loves to go swimming. He loves his puppies as well. We have two dogs. I was 20 weeks pregnant and I was going for my anatomy scan. We were gonna find out if he was a boy or a girl and then um, then basically they told us that they couldn't see a certain part of his brain. We had to go through a bunch more testings like MRIs and an amniocentesis and I was 39 weeks pregnant when we found out that he had MPPH syndrome. Uh, it's like a rare genetic condition. He's like 76 case is what they told us worldwide. I had found a study about his condition online and basically it was going through screening recommendations and one of them said just to take a look at his kidneys, just make sure everything was going okay. Um, and that's when we ended up finding it. There was a tumor on his ad adrenal gland. Um, and then we just kind of did more testing from there. And then they told us that he has um, right adrenal neuroblastoma. It was pretty scary. You're just kind of coming to terms with figuring out what it's going to be like to have a son with special needs and then all of a sudden getting that shortly after it was yeah, it was a lot to deal with. Since he's been born we've been followed by neurology, um, neurosurgery, physio, occupational therapy, um, speech language. So we see oncology, oncology every, too. we saw them for six weeks at a time and then now we see them every three months at JPCH. You can tell you're not just a patient like they genuinely do care about Wells. Kind of take it day by day. We don't know what the future holds, so just appreciating him for where he's at and loving him no matter what, and doing what we can, like within our means, to make sure that he has the best care possible, and just doing everything we can to to support our little guy and make sure that he's yeah well taken care of. This journey has been really hard, but we wouldn't have it any other way. And we love our little guy so much, and obviously this guy too. But we. Uh, I don't know, we wouldn't change anything and we're super grateful to have the Children's Hospital in the province as well and so is he. It's definitely important to be donating to the Radiothon. Honestly, like before having kids, I didn't really understand the, I guess, the need for it, but I don't think anyone really does until you need it. <laughs> and then you have a kid with special needs or somebody gets sick or whatever and it's, it's a really good thing to have it. You hope you don't need it, but you're sure happy you have it when you do, so we're very lucky to have it.